give it a try. Um, I'm Rikus, I play drums in Intellectual. Uh, I'm Willem, I, I play guitar and I sing. And uh, yeah, we, we've been a band since uh, 2001, actually, that's when we played our first gig. And um, we've been having lineup changes ever since, and we're actually, at this moment, we're looking for a new bass player as well, so it's, all, it's an always changing lineup. But um, yeah, we've been doing a lot of shows, we've played all over Europe. Uh, I know we've been to Russia and to the US and we released three full length albums. Um, yeah, that's that's our history in really, really short. And <laughs> in October, it will be our first time in Scotland ever. Well, going to Russia is strange and it's a big experience, uh, uh, like in general. I mean, uh, we had never been there personally or individually. And, and um, you fly out there and we only brought our guitars and, and, and sticks, I think. Yeah. And um, we did everything on uh, by, by public transport. So that, that was the first time for us, like touring by train and bus. Uh, uh -huh. and, and that was crazy. I mean, the traffic in, in Russia in general is crazy. So uh, if, you, if you go by bus, you, you'll be in traffic 90% of the time and not moving ahead. And, and if you're doing it by train, you're going such long distances and you're in there forever, and I mean, it's such a great and big country. And like touring is totally different compared to like European or even American touring. So that that was a nice new experience. And I don't know how big is the scene in Holland for for punk. <clears throat> there's a there's a lot of punk bands from Holland, I guess. Um, especially you know, it's a, it's a small country, and uh, there's there's a quite active scene here, and. Uh, I mean, we, we don't really play a lot of shows in our own country because it's small and it doesn't really make sense to play a show in Holland every week. So we just try to get out of the country as much as we can. But there's, uh, I mean, there's always been uh, a steady flow of punk rock hardcore bands around here. And uh, yeah, I'd say it's pretty active. <laughs> and, and being located like next to Germany is, is, a, is a luxury uh, because a lot of touring bands that obviously go to Germany also visit Holland and we get a lot of American bands that come over. They also play Holland and we, we, uh, we get to see them and that, that you know inspires a lot of people to start bands themselves. And we have a very lively scene with maybe even too many shows instead of uh, not enough. But uh, that's a luxury topic. Came across a recording you guys did with Chris Hanna as well. Like, is how was that for you guys? Yeah, that, that, we were pretty lucky to have Chris Hanna on our record. Um, it, basically, uh, we, we we played a show with Propaganda in uh, in Belgium. I think it was summer of 2008. Yeah, yeah. And we we got to know the guys, and uh, we just kind of had a chat with them. And then when we were uh, recording the new uh, our, our last album, <clears throat> we felt like, well, this song has kind of a Propaganda feel to it, so. Why not email Chris Hanna and just ask him if he would be interested in singing along? And uh, he got back to us and he said, "Yeah, I'll give it a try." And he, uh, as soon as we had the song recorded, we uh, we sent him like uh, a rough mix and uh, the lyrics. And uh, <clears throat> he ha he has a studio at home uh, which we knew of, so he just kind of I don't know how many time he spent on it, but he just uh, recorded some vocal lines, sent it back to us, and uh, we uh, we were pretty impressed, so we decided to use it. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Would you guys have any other dream singers to kind of sing with you guys if you could? Well, the thing is, when we recorded that album, we we thought, well, we need we want to have like a, a guest vocalist on the album, and then we we made a list, uh, but we started with the number one, and what the number one was Chris Hanna, so we tried. <laughs> awesome. And we, we never got to make the rest of the list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, um, Maybe Nathan Gray from Boys of Fire uh, would be up there. Um, um, Milo of the Descendants, I'd like to have on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I'd like to have Tim from Rise Against too. So. Oh, sure, yeah. Or yeah, uh, totally. Scott from Face to Face, Trevor. Trevor. Trevor, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that kind of stuff. Or maybe just someone that sounds completely different. Um, um, I couldn't think of someone right now, but maybe just to have like a totally different feel to our music with totally different uh, vocals. That makes sense. Yeah, it's been 10 years, so there there have been so many bands that influenced us. Uh, when, when people ask us, I usually say, well, we started out as a, a, a skate punk band because we, we started listening to music in the 90s when, you know, all these Swedish bands were popular and the Californian skate punk sound was really big. And it's when we 
then at, at least I fell in love with punk rock and that kind of music. And then, uh, you know, the, the emo bands came around after 2000 or something like that. And that was the, the stuff that I listened to in that period. And now, uh, the, the last couple of years, there's a lot of, you know, hot water music, a lot of man related orgcore coming up and we're listening to that a lot. So I think, like, it's not only some bands that influence us, but I think it's you know, uh, streams of, of, of bands that, that, that influenced our our own music. I think it works a little bit like that. Well, there there's a band from Australia that I'm I'm, I'm really uh, that I really love. They're, they're called A Death in the Family, and they've been to Europe before. They've toured with uh, Sam I Am and uh, Leatherface. So uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about them, but a lot of people should because it's a really great band. And if we got the chance to tour with them, either supporting for them or the other way around, I, I wouldn't care. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a band I would like to be on tour with, uh, like you know, in the future sometime. Is there any bands from Holland just now you think we should check out? Yeah, as we said before, there, there's quite a lot of pretty decent bands from over here. Um, if, if you, from the top of my head, like they're they're good friends of ours. They're on the, the same label, Shield Recordings, and they they tour like every year. I think they do a tour. They're called The Real Danger, and they they actually sound like a mixture of Descendants and Face to Face. And they're good friends of ours. And so yeah, The Real Danger. If you if you're into that kind of sound, you should check them out and. Yeah, uh, there's a there's a new band called Sweet Empire, and I think they're actually doing well in, in the UK as well. I'm mean, not sure if they went to Scotland, but uh, uh, yeah. yeah, they they just recorded a new album, and I think it will be out in September. Uh, Sweet Empire for for people that like the orcore sound, they, they might like that as well. And there's a band called Rat Pack. They're from our hometown, and they sound a little like uh, Rich Kids on LSD. Uh, mixed with like old no effects stuff and they are they're doing well they're, they're they just released their new album and they i think they will be on tour in october there's this other band called this routine as hell they're uh yeah they're more like hardcore kind of band they're a bunch of younger guys and they sound pretty much like uh, uh like painted black and uh i think yeah they've, they've been to the uk a few times and uh they're generally touring a lot and trying to make the best out of it Great. Okay, thanks for that. That's yeah. a lot to check out there. Yeah, no, like, we're, we're, we're just trying to get as much bands as we can just to get the word out there. And just, you know, the idea of the show is just trying to get more people over to Scotland. I don't know. I guess for me, I guess in a small, selfish way, see people might come to Ireland, but even though I'm not in Ireland at the moment. Uh, yeah. Well, keep, yeah, keep doing that. I mean, I think in, in a way it's the same. I mean, just we are we are located next to Germany, so it's nice that a lot of bands you know, come by, but on the other hand, we're only a small country, and as you said, you, it's not very common that Dutch bands get, like, a lot of attention uh, elsewhere, because it's only a small country, and it's not, there's not that, that much punk and hardcore history, uh, you know, going around from Holland, so, I mean, thanks for doing that, for giving us attention, and, and getting some attention for punk rock in, in Scotland and Ireland. Yeah, if, if you if you guys were, like, we're gonna, we we'll play it, we'll I think we're playing a song next next week. If you guys could recommend, I don't know, a song, any one of your songs that would make you well, yeah, whatever song you want to hear in the show. Yeah. I played you before, but always <laughs> hard to say what song. Uh, um, you, it's a punk rock show, so let's let's go with uh, some of my best friends are meat eaters. It's a song about uh, you know being vegetarian or, or, or vegan and um, awesome. Are you guys are you guys meat eaters or vegans? <laughs> uh, vegetarians. vegetarians. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, a lot, a lot of people are. I'm personally. Chris Hanna. Certainly. Chris Hanna, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope that doesn't up upset you guys that we're not. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty much what the song is about. It's about how people uh, always seem to come off a little like uh, a little cocky when, they, when they're vegetarians and they feel better than other people. And the song is pretty much about making choices for yourself and... Uh, even sure. even if we may think that vegetarianism is a good thing to do, uh, other people make other choices, and uh, yeah, the song kind of puts it into uh, perspective. Uh, if you if you if you guys have it and you'd like to just say just to get out there, at my five percent. No, uh, thanks for having us on on, uh, on your radio show and keep up the good work. Um, if people want to listen to our music, uh, come to the shows. Uh, the one that you just said booked in in, uh, in October and uh, the Make Your Aim Fest in December. And if people want to listen to our music, you can do do so on our website, uh, intellectual.com, and you can stream all our music and listen to it and check if 
if, it, if it's uh, something you like. <laughs>